Hi there, how's everybody doing? Today we're going to study about gesture drawing. We're going to uh, look into doing animals. Now you might ask, what is a gesture drawing? Well, a gesture drawing is a quick, expressive uh, sketch. And it kind of captures the essence of something or the spirit of it. And we're going to start out today with a bee. <coughs> Now, we're not worried about getting a lot of details in this. And you can do these in as little as 30 seconds, most of them. Some of them you might take a little bit longer. The point is, we're going to keep our pencil, our pen, our brush moving as we do these. And we're going to capture the personality of what we're drawing. Look at this little bee coming together. These are excellent warm-ups to do before you start any major art project. Gesture drawings and contour drawings, you gotta make sure you get in a few each week. If not every day, at least once a week, I would say. Easy peasy, gesture drawing is a breezy. Okay, so that's going to represent our little ant there. Isn't that a cute little guy? Let's see what we've got next. Ooh, a hummingbird. My mother is particularly fond of these little animals. They're cute as can be, and they're fun to have around. So let's see, let's start with the eye. We're going to go ahead and put in that beak. Where it gets its sugar water from. We're going to drop in the shadows. Did you know that's how you make fibrous stuff pop? You draw the shadows in between it. Works with leaves, it works with hair, it works with grass. Get the shadows in between the fibers, and what's left becomes the fibers. Pretty cool little trick, huh? Now it may take a while to get it down, but the magic of that is once you get it down, you've gotten it down almost for life. Practice always comes in handy. But you'll notice the leaves on the trees come out better. The grass comes out better. Hair comes out better. Fur comes out better. And our cute little hummingbird also comes out better. Look at that. Now, if you start looking up references for gestures, you're going to find a lot of cool little websites online. Just make sure if you click the poses that you click the uh, fully clothed poses, okay? Don't get cheeky out there. Let's see, I think we've got time for one more. Ooh, look at this little guy. Let's see, this one's a little more challenging. We're going to start with the head and the mouth. <clears throat> you know, Monica and I, we live uh, at, lake, at a lake, and I love going down there and observing nature. Well, for years, we have had these little insect shells just all over our pier. We never knew what they were hatching into. Well, this year I was fortunate enough to see one hatch, and you know what? It was a dragonfly. Not only was it a dragonfly, but I got to see the process, which was very, very slow, of it hatching its little wings. They unfold it, and then they slowly, slowly, slowly start it to dry and form what we know as the dragonfly wings. How about that? Okay. So go out there, round up some pictures. Remember, it's actually better to draw from life. Always life, photo reference, memory. That's how it goes. Try to draw from life. 
uh, get a few little gesture sketches in, go to town, have fun with it, and uh, show me what you uh, create. All right. Remember, even though we may be all over the world, we're all in this together. So y'all be good to each other. Take care.